Once again, I'm not going to write a script for this fucking thing. I'm just going to speak from the heart and mind and share my general feelings of this shitty platform that is YouTube. And um, just basically break down why I don't take it seriously, why I don't plan on making a career out of it, why I don't really plan on doing, you know, anything that all the other guys on YouTube are doing. So, um... To start things off, I'm just going to address the biggest concern with the shitty platform. Uh, copyrights. Copyrights are annoying. Copyrights are very abusive. People abuse this copyright system left and fucking right, and I am getting absolutely tired of it. I am so sick and tired of copyright claims, copyright strikes, DMCA takedowns, videos that are just uploaded for, you know, days, weeks, months only to be you know have some parts of it being muted for no fucking reason people just owning shit all over the goddamn place you know it's fucking annoying and i'm getting sick and tired of it so for anyone that hasn't been you know hearing or listening or whatever the hell um certain people who have youtube popular youtube channels are being subjected to copyright claims copyright strikes having their YouTube channels taken down for days or just a full day, um, people being harassed, people just trying to do what they want to do, and it's not really working out. So, um, yeah, the first one that I wanted to address is Angry Joe, where on his end, he has been uploading these Halo TV show reviews um, because he's been he's been using Paramount Plus, and so far the reviews have been very honest, brutally honest, I might add. And I suppose that in the eyes of CBS or whoever the hell runs Paramount Plus, I guess the honesty was too brutally honest, because now CBS is targeting him, taking down his videos, and when he was positive, very positive about the show that's when CBS didn't take any action and I suppose that uh, criticism is something that CBS isn't taking well because um, when they uploaded the first episode on their Paramount Plus channel on YouTube it was greeted with massive downvotes massive negative reception to the point where Paramount Plus themselves had to remove the video and Geeks and Gamers kind of uh, took notice to that and they made, and they kind of made a video about that. Uh, fast forward to episode 4 of Halo and apparently Angry Joe had to remove and re-upload the video to where he had to re-upload it with so many edits um, on the fifth attempt and said directly to the CBS person who's been seeing these videos that you know he knows that what they're doing and he says that what they're doing is wrong and if this continues and I think it will you know depending on what happens with the, with the series um, they're going to take legal action they will go to court for this and you know, I know that it might be like a small case, you know, just a case of just stupid copyright battles that should never happen in the first place. But he is going to court. He is going to take legal action. He is going to do all of this. And honestly, I agree with them because it's annoying. Copyright is annoying in any shape or fashion. It's under fair use. He is not the creator of this show, nor... You know, would he have the pleasure of making the show? He's simply reviewing it, showing five second clips, and then it's back to Joe, back to OJ, back to Alex, or whoever the hell is reviewing this for like another 10 minutes, and then they give final verdicts, and then, you know, there you go. They're not showing like the whole damn episode, like, nor should they, because, I mean, if you want to see it for yourself, then, you know go see the show yourselves i'm not gonna tell you how but you know that's all up to you but yeah um they're not trying i mean i mean definitely it is a 
they're already spoiling the show, but that's because they're just reviewing it as they go. They saw the whole damn thing, so, you know, why should they not be able to express their general feelings of the entire show thus far? But the, the bullshittery that is these annoying-ass copyright notices and DMCA strikes... This is where I myself would just, I would have just drawn the line after the first one. The fact that Joe himself needed to re-upload his review five fucking times. That's the part that I don't understand. Why should he upload this five fucking times when all that needed to be done was just upload it once and then just people can just like, you know, it's a review. General feelings general feedback with you know some imagery sprinkled over the goddamn place again they're not showing the whole fucking episode okay they're not doing that so why is it that like i don't know if anyone else got hit with this i'm pretty sure someone else did because they had to show halo reach gameplay forgot who it was but joe like internally why the fuck is it him that's getting hit with all this bullshit This is just for you, the CBS employee who is watching my channel right now, who are claiming my videos over and over with regards to the Halo review. I'd like to take this moment to tell you what you're doing is wrong. And if you claim this fourth edit, I think it's a fifth edit, if you claim this fifth edit, you are morally wrong and I will fight you until the end. You will be opening up court proceedings. Send me the DMCA. Open yourself up for litigation. Because if you claim this video, that's it. There's nothing else. That's my only option. I have edited and edited and edited, which I didn't need to because this is protected under fair use. But I'm trying to play it under your rules, and your rules are bullshit, okay? And I, don't, I won't let you push around any other channels and won't let you push around our channel anymore so let's see you copyright claim this video go ahead copyright claim this video let's see if you have it in you because you know I don't know what policies you're following but whatever policies you're following that your boss has told you they're wrong they're straight up wrong this content is being used for review and critique under fair use law right in the United States is where I am number two it is transformative. I have just transformed this content so much. We're not using any audio. We are transforming the visuals 100%. So the visuals aren't yours and the audio is not yours. You did not create those from the original. They are transformative. And the amount used is, uh, that's taken into account in a court of law, the amount used is insubstantial. It is not enough for you to be claiming an entire hour-long video for revenue for yourself, which is what they're doing now. So this was just for you. For everybody else, here's the original video. But I realize since you are combing through my channel right now that I need to have a personal talk with you. Cut it out. Fucking stop it. What you're doing is wrong. Cut it out. Okay? Because you're, you're, about, you're, you're messing with the wrong person. I, I will blow this up. And we will go to court over this. So let's see if you where where you think your rights are and where your copyright is. If you claim this one with all this transformative stuff on here and fair use 100%, I have no other options. This is my last option. So, ball is in your court. Go ahead. All right? And here is my original video that I filmed. And then he proceeds to show you um, the process of how the editing works and you know what they were claiming they claim what nine seconds yeah again like I don't understand how or why they keep targeting him over this like it's just it to me it's just abuse that's all that it is it's just abuse it's not fair it is just them just being a fucking cyber bully at this point and that's all that it is like people who do this type of shit you're just a fucking cyber bully, and that shit is not cool. You know, it's not cool, it's not fun. People are trying to do their best on this platform, and they can't fucking do that when they're constantly getting hit with 
so many of these unnecessary copyright claim strikes, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's annoying and it's stupid and I'm, you know, generally just tired of it. It's not a fun platform anymore. But, you know, I'll get there. Um, another person that I wanted to address is a Let's Player on on YouTube, Nico B, who plays games like Kingdom Hearts, Phoenix Wright, Dongarapa, Persona, the last two, I wish. Yeah, ugh, personal feelings aside. Um, he was also subjected to um, YouTube bullshittery Due in part of his um, review episodes of Hunter Hunter, which was apparently human error, and this is right after he got out of the uh, out of the doctor, and he had that MRI thing going on, and then a whole bunch of nasty ass shit was going all over his face. So it's bad enough that he was going through um, health issues at the time, but when his whole channel was removed from one day, like just like that gone disappeared vanished you know and then people said on twitter uh did you delete your youtube channel and then he said what the fuck happened i don't know what the fuck happened either like all of a sudden i guess now as he's reviewing these 100 hunter episodes with no audio to speak of or brilliant audio to speak of with you know net just with the amount of visuals needed like a good what 10 minutes like he's like that's like, what, half an episode or some shit? I don't fucking know, but... Uh, I, uh, insert video. I woke up, uh, I go to Twitter to, to see people's replies to what I my MRI tweets. Um, and I saw one of you guys mention, uh, like, Nico, I hope you feel better, man, but uh, did you, like, get rid of your channel or something? Like, because I can't find any of your videos, and I would go, oh, no, now what? <laughs> yes, YouTube had deleted my channel. So I, I reached out to my network, see if I could help them to get a response, and uh, I decided that, well, I wasn't in initially going to do a live stream that evening because I still wasn't feeling great. Um, I decided to do it that evening because just to help calm everyone down, to talk everybody through, because I wasn't too worried. I, I, I was pretty sure this was a mistake, but I did want people to know that I was one alive and two that you know i think this will be worked out all right but fortunately just before the stream was uh completed i actually uh, ended up getting my channel back um and that is honestly primarily due to a certain individual who goes by the name of funny man so apparently this was what happened to my channel was brought up in reddit and uh funny man he replied saying uh amusingly enough nico is one of my subscribed channels so you can imagine that this made me sit up and take notice a bit faster than usual since I was already familiar with the content, I went looking for someone who was available, even though it was the weekend. I got an expert review of the channel. As a result, it has been reinstated. The channel was taken down as a result of human error, most likely on the Hunter Hunter series. One of the things they're looking for is people who try to upload full TV episodes with various manip manipulations to a vague content ID, which that series resembles. In my personal opinion, Nico's series is basically a gold standard for reaction content. It only uses small fragments of the original, heavily overlaid with his own commentary, and I suspect that would, it would be difficult to follow the episode if you hadn't watched it. Regardless, the official word is that the channel was taken down incorrectly, and on further review has been reinstated. So, first off, I just gotta say, to Funny Man, just thank you so much, buddy. Like, th this probably would have taken much longer, probably till the start of next week, uh, for this to all get resolved. Uh, if Funny Man hadn't pushed it through on the weekend. So, thank you so much, buddy. I'm I'm honored that uh, somebody at YouTube actually actually watches my videos too. So that was that was really nice. It really does pay to have friends in uh, high places, right? Um, but thank you so much, buddy. Really, you are the, seriously the MVP freaking champ, the MV penguin. <laughs> oh man, you really saved my bacon though, bud. But it I was it was interesting about that to me was the fact that it was the Hunter Hunter series that might have caused that because th there's a difference between copyright strikes and community strikes. Um, he said that it might have been counted as spam for community strikes, but it just seemed weird because I had uploaded these videos over the course of many, many days. It wasn't like all at once, you know? So I don't really know why it would be uh, have been considered spam either. They just like went in there, saw the thumbnails and saw the names of the episodes and, just, and then assumed that it was just the Hunter Hunter series. I have no idea. I mean, it sounded like he wasn't totally certain either that that was what it was. He said most likely on the Hunter Hunter series. I, I don't know. God, though, that is... If you're going to go take a channel down, I feel like you really need to be certain that you're you're doing the right thing. Not just like, if it if it was because of that, 
they just went in and saw like the thumbnail and the name of the episode was like, oh, all right, this guy's uploading full up says a hunter hunter. Right. I hope not. I, if that was really the, the case then I'm, and that's rather uh, disturbing, a disturbing thought. <laughs> that someone could be that careless. But yes, so the good news though is my channel came back and what ended up happening was uh, my channel would come back, but you guys didn't see any of the videos. Uh, what the, it needed to do was actually reinstate all the videos again. So it took a quite a while since there were over 2,000 videos. However, what I also learned was that during the process of uh, bringing them back online, it actually had to reprocess every one of the videos as well, meaning they all started in 360p. However, and this is the, the big one, um, when they did that, I ended up getting so many new copyright claims and uh, advertiser unfriendly dings than I did before because I guess now that the system is updated so so many of my older videos are now getting claimed when they weren't previously so I've got so many freaking claims that go all across the board from Angel Beats to Kingdom Hearts to freaking Phoenix Wright just so many claims that were not there before that I'm going to have to deal with, most of which are just total bullshit. Actually, I'd probably say almost all of them are bullshit. So, it's just... It really sucks. It just really, really sucks, because now I'm essentially being punished for somebody else's error, you know? Somebody at YouTube, who it decided on a whim that my content wasn't safe on YouTube, or that my so that my entire channel needed to be deleted. No warning, nothing. And that is just, it's disappointing. It's, just, it's what it is. It's really disappointing. I realize that this is a massive platform with um, tons of channels, millions upon probably billions of hours of content. Um, but as Funny Man pointed out, this was human error, you know? And if you're going to go out of your way to bring a channel down, you better be goddamn sure you're doing it for the right reason. That there is a legitimate reason to do that. Because I've been making videos now for seven years, all right? I have... I have devoted so much of my life uh, to this platform. I've given so much to YouTube. So just to, to get sort of stabbed in the back like that for, for shit like this, to, to get my channel deleted and get sort of thrown under the, the bus like that, uh, it's just, it really sucks. I, I don't know what else to say. It just, it really made me, it makes me wish that YouTube was better than this. That, they, that this wasn't such a common thing to happen to uh, so many YouTubers. This has happened to guys like Team Four Star, Lost Pause, uh, I Hate Everything. Plenty of other ones I can't even think about, honestly. Like, if you're a longtime YouTuber, I feel like now at some point you're going to get your channel mistakenly deleted. So, I guess I'm now officially a longtime YouTuber with that done. I don't know. I'm hoping it, it, it doesn't ever happen again. Uh, but, like I said, it's just nothing is feels safe or sacred on YouTube sometimes. That, that's, that's the thing. You, you never feel like you're in a totally secure position that you're uh, safe from bullshit like this. I can only imagine how many other people have lost their channels who didn't have a big audience or unfortunately a guy who was inside YouTube who was actually subscribed to your channel who could help you out. So it's, I want YouTube to be better than this. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, did you get an apology or even a message when my channel got reinstated? Nope, <laughs> not at all. That didn't surprise me. Like I said, didn't surprise me at all. I'd seen people say the exact same thing when that happened to them. No reply, no message, nothing. Just that. I just, I checked back. My channel's there. So just big thank you to Funny Man. Seriously, you, you rock, man. Thank you so much for your help. Copyright strike, community strike, it doesn't fucking matter to me. To me, a strike is a strike. And the fact that he himself had to go through all this shit at poor health you know, really speaks volume of how much YouTube cares about you as a fucking individual. Which is to say, none, actually. And I don't give a fuck if they say shit like, we care about you as an individual. No, you fucking don't shut the fuck up, okay? You don't. I've seen people who try their best to make a living off of YouTube, and this is the type of shit that they're greeted with. Not only did their channel get removed for a day, but they don't even, like, they don't even inform you of what the fuck happened so or at the very least i don't think they have to because like you said you know he reached out to his own network you know to his own subscribers to figure out what the fuck was going on and yeah i guess it was it like, like you said if you're gonna have to if you're gonna have to copyright strike claim anybody 
uh, you need to have the backbone to back it up. Otherwise, your claim is bullshit. And, you know, I don't get how he can review Angel Beast from beginning to end. But Hunter x Hunter, for some fucking reason, no. Like, that doesn't... Like, I don't know if it's, like, uh, an anime studio thing. Most likely, you know, given what's been going on with Toy Animation. Oh, God. But, you know, just... He tries to do everything according to his profession and that's what got him in trouble and that's what led to his channel being removed for a day like i know it was like it's pretty much history at this point but still the fact that his channel was removed for a whole day meaning that you can't see any of his videos and you can't search for his channel on youtube at all that that was the result the result was that his entire shit got removed and then when it was re-uploaded and then everything had to be looked at again this is where all of the copyright claims started popping up and he made sure that not one fucking copyright song was in any of those videos kingdom hearts especially because i know how hard they go when it comes to simple and clean sanctuary don't think twice and um um face my fears i know how strict they are when it comes to that shit and and you know, that's another reason why if I were to do YouTube and do the shit that people like him are doing, you know, when I when I make videos like that, I want to make sure that I capture everything for, you know, quality reasons, audio especially. And, you know, you need to make sure that everything is on there up to snuff. And, yeah, it's, it's really annoying when you can't even make do something under fair use when you can't just make something for fun you know you always there always needs to be legal action you know which you know to an extent it is fair you know that people would act like that because you know support the original creator which you know should be a thing anyways you know you should always support the original creator for ev anything that you do please support the official release they always say even if their official release can have you know potential garbage in it but you know you know, support the official release you know no argument there but for him to not even review a series, for him to not be able to do anything within his profession is just, you know, fucking criminal. So now he hasn't reviewed Hunter x Hunter, which feels like years, and I don't think he'll ever go back to that. So what's going to happen when he reviews any of these new animes that I've been seeing, like Jujutsu Kaisen, Dr. Stone, Demon Slayer, Komi Can't Communicate... Uh, dance, dance, dance here, which I have to see anyways. It, like, it's like, no one is safe on YouTube, and I get that, but f for your whole channel to be wiped out from the map like that, only for it to come back after reaching out to YouTube themselves, or his network in this case, and yet to put up with all of the copyright claim bullshit again. Like, again, we're going back to the copyright claim shit. Like, this to me might as well just be abuse because how many times, what what if it happens again? You know, like, you never know on YouTube. So, yeah, honestly, it's, it's, it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. So, yeah, that's Nico B. Um, another person that was being harassed by bots was uh hopefully i'm pronouncing this right uh pudge 007 or 007 in this case um he was being harassed with um some bots and he tried to reach out to youtube and youtube according to him has not done anything to get this problem fixed so he took matters into his own hands and explained what was going on and showed off all of the stupid bots that were pretending to be him making all of these um, inappropriate, immature, very immature uh, YouTube uh, uh, channels. And basically going through a long ass list of these channels in his email address. I don't know how this happens and I don't know why they decided to harass him the way that they did. But... This is the type of shit that makes me wonder why people even harass people on YouTube to begin with. 
All right, guys, I'm having to make a video while I'm at work because apparently this bot situation is getting out of control. Uh, YouTube has done nothing. Just know that for those that have been targeted by this bot that's acting like it's me, just know that it's not. They've been doing this for months, maybe up to a year now, spamming other channels, trying to make me look bad. So I just want to let you know that it's not me. I will make another video later that will demonstrate how I've tried to talk with YouTube about this to try to get this taken care of. And they multiple times said they would look into it. And after looking into it, said there was no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Terms of service that was breached, even though it was obvious that they did. So... Just want to get that out there. Apparently, big ch some big channels are targeted. I just want to apologize to those channels that that's happening. And I wanted to just say to those mods that for those channels, thanks for looking out for your content creator. That's what you should do. But I just also want you to know that it's not me. It's someone that's trying to make me look bad. And, and why they're targeting me, I have no clue. Uh, but I just want to get that out there. Again, I'll get another video out there later. Apparently, Ben Shapiro was targeted today. And that just blows my mind that that's even happening, you know. So we'll reach out to all those, including him and their moderators, that I'm sorry that that's happening. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable uh, for anyone to do that. I do not condone any of that behavior, nor my fans or my moderators do either. So just want to get that out there to you guys. And just, I again, I'm having to stop work just for a little bit. I'm a physical therapist, and I'm having to stop work just a little bit to take care of this because this is getting out of control. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for listening. Love you guys, and hope to see you soon. I'll leave a link to the video where he's looking into these weird-ass bots in the email in the description below because um, it's quite it's quite the watch, and the list just goes on and on. It's kind of like a near-hour video, so yeah. Um, take that as you will but yeah like I said before I don't know why harassment like this even happened to anybody on YouTube who's trying to make a living off of this platform so yeah you know shout outs to him and um yeah shout outs to the people he knows has also been targeted by these weird ass bots um I actually have I actually broke down just one more here but I actually got two more to talk about uh, this last one that I wrote down, a uh, YouTube channel by the name of Gay's Division, who um, reviews hentai on YouTube, and the way how they do this is that they kind of break down what the plot is, and sometimes go into details about what these characters are doing. What he doesn't do is that he shows um, explicably... Uh, what goes on in these um, reviews so if there's something that might be strongly inappropriate then that's when he will just blur it out and just put some text on screen you know saying oh, I can't show this otherwise it will get removed but um, it's understandable if YouTube does decide to put in like parental restrictions on these videos where you have to log in by using your email like that's fine but uh because of i i suspect because of these hentai reviews his channel like his whole channel not wiped off the map like nico b did but it comes close where all of his content was just gone and this was around the time i kind of saw his euphoria review and for some reason again i guess it must be because of how strong the hentai content was but i know that he the he, him and him and his fans will make sure that this type of content would just get blurred out and censored beyond belief but i guess that wasn't enough and his channel was taken down for 90 days i think it's the penalty so as of this recording, his channel is back up, and then he basically just, I think, made a video about... Uh... I'm not sure, really. It's been a while since I've seen that video, but... I know that he was very concerned about his channel, and just it 
being taken down all the time. And that's why someone had to archive his stuff on YouTube. I think it's called, like, what, Gaze Division Legend? I could be wrong about that. But I do know there's someone out there that is re-uploading his content on YouTube. So that way, should his channel be removed, then um, someone will have his content on, like, a backup channel, if that, make it, that makes any sense. So, yeah, again, I don't know what's been going on. You know, he seems like the kind of person who would take careful consideration about how he goes about uploading hentai reviews. But, um, yeah, he censored them. He, you know, blurs them out, blurs out anything that might be considered too explicit or extremely explicit. So that, um, to me... I think to me that's how hentai reviews should be. If you're going to review hentai on YouTube anyway, you know, you might as well just show very little that you can to in order to ensure that you don't get into deep shit. And to also ensure that you don't show up too much um, nudity on YouTube anyways, because I know how strict YouTube is when it comes to um, showing off body parts. Um... One thing I didn't write down, but something I'm going to throw in there anyway, is the um, is the problem regarding a game, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, where someone that actually streamed the game, actually, yeah, two people that actually streamed the game, one person who streamed the game, Ray Navarez Jr., he streamed it pretty well, and I don't think he got into any problems, not that I know of, but for some fucking reason, uh, Wooly, Wooly Versus, he streamed the game, he uploaded it on YouTube, and apparently you can get copyright claims just by showing off the cutscenes? And hide that. Oh, yeah. Ops? No. Ops. Dad was a tank farmer. He worked the pipelines for about 30 years. <laughs> he retired just before the SDF took it over. Let's go get him. Come. You bet your ass. This has been a long time coming. How are we executing? Joint operation? You and me. Our copy. Sorry, yeah, I have no words. I don't know how you can get copyright claimed or strike just by showing cutscenes I, it boggles the fucking mind so I, I, I don't know but now that, that makes it very worrisome even for people who don't make videos it's like wow now you can get copyright claimed for just showing cutscenes like I don't understand I, I, I just don't understand like a cutscene are you fucking serious I, I don't get it so, earlier this year, uh, YouTube also disabled dislikes because of what's going on politically. I, I don't want to get into the details, but um, I've been noticing how dislikes have been disabled after Nintendo uh, showed up their expansion for the Switch Online service, and a lot of people hated it, and they disliked it beyond belief, and I believe it was after that that um, YouTube just decided to make up this lie and say uh, people just you view the like and dislike as some sort of scoreboard when that's not the truth at all. The reason why they disliked it is basically to cover up whatever negative reception is going on to these billion dollar corporations or people of high value like again you know it all comes down to just politics and i rather not dive into that because i'll just be here all day so with all this in mind you know i hope this does really discourage people from trying out youtube or at the very least any other platform which i hold hardly recommend you use to your advantage rather it be daily motion vimeo bitchute storyfire odyssey you know any other platform out there that you can use alongside YouTube because YouTube is just becoming this 
site where you no longer can broadcast yourself. You know, and uh, yeah, that I think that's when YouTube just officially dropped the ball. Is when they got rid of the you, the broadcast yourself slogan. So now it's just YouTube, and honestly, it's it it, it sucks that YouTube is like this, and it needs to improve because I, for one, don't see myself making a career out of YouTube. I, for one, do not see myself taking YouTube seriously. I don't see myself becoming anybody like um, people who have a million subscribers. I can't see myself taking this platform seriously. I'm sorry, but you know, I, I can't. I don't know why I'm, I'm apologizing. YouTube sucks now, and they need to do better. They need to be better because look at look look at what's happening right now. Like look what's been happening. You know, Angry Joe with the CBS bullshit, and then Nico B with his whole channel be removing the day. Uh, Pudge, Double Zero Seven getting harassed by these stupid ass bots. You know, not being able to review content with the best of your abilities without so much as trying to show off too much or just without trying to ruin it for everybody else and you know you can't even play a game without getting in trouble with the fucking cutscenes like man what happened to the YouTube that I grew up with you know this is like the same platform where I used to see old machinima videos that aren't on YouTube anymore that are just gone now like this is the same platform that got people famous and just made appearances on Tosh.0 and Comedy Central. This is the same platform where, you know, people can show up their talent and express themselves and now it's like that comes at a price. Now, you know, it needs to be beneficial on both sides and, you know, to some degree it can be beneficial on both sides but not like this where you can't have, like, there's no comfort on YouTube anymore. There's no sense of ease. Now it just needs to come down to, okay, I made a video, but is it going to get claimed? Is it going to get striked? Is it going to get a notice? Like, I don't get it. And honestly, this is the main reason why YouTube to me, YouTube to me, this isn't YouTube. I don't know what this platform is. For, for now, I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm just using this as I go. Now I'm just using YouTube as a means of just catching up on whatever's going on outside the world because I honestly don't give a shit about, you know, actual news. I don't really take the time to look at that and I don't really take the time to just get invested in small shit. I'd rather get invested in what I'm interested in and, you know, sometimes I can't even do that while people like the quartering or young yeah or anyone else that runs like a news type channel you know making reports about shit that i honestly just don't give a fuck about you know that's not their i mean that's not their fault they're just you know that's their profession no harm no harm no foul towards that but i feel like youtube has becoming less creative and more controlling and i don't mean that in a good way so I don't know what's going to happen in the future, maybe the same usual shit, but if YouTube wants to improve, uh, they can start by accepting feedback from everybody who has a channel, who uses YouTube daily, and they also need to be held accountable for whatever dumbass action that they make, because this is how you end up with sites like Odyssey calling them out on their dog shit. Odyssey actually revived uh they're now using the broadcast yourself slogan on their website and you know i i really hate saying this but i feel like this needs to be said you know i use odyssey i used it for my past live stream on twitch.tv and to see that to just to just see it you know downgrade to whatever this platform is the, I, like again this isn't youtube i don't know what this is so, to me, you know, this is no longer a platform where you can broadcast yourself, unfortunately. This is a platform where it is just reaping the rewards and is just filled to the brim with 
so much toxicity. I can't stand for it, and honestly, neither should you. I don't take it seriously. Again, you know, I just upload the past live stream on here for your sakes, hoping that someone would go to the Odyssey channel and, you know, view it from there. And, you know, call it clickbait, call it whatever you want, but, you know, at least people can see the past live streams that I've done thus far. That's good enough. And, you know, I thank you for it. But YouTube, as a platform, as a career, I can do it and I don't know if things will get better probably not but yeah you know and for all the people that made a career on YouTube that's still doing it to this day keep doing what you're doing you know even if you might have to throw some curveballs that are done the light or do something different you know that's always a good thing but you know the moral of this story is YouTube sucks and I think it's just going to get worse as time goes by.